Some of the most terrifying reports are coming from women in our community. Sandra Harris, a grandmother, will never forget her drive through Brookside. Sandra Harris is hardly the picture of a hardened criminal, but she got slapped with six charges in Brookside just a little more than a year ago. Um, I'm sorry. I get upset about it. To be falsely accused like that, it hurt. I've never been in this position before. She was on her way to visit her daughter in Brookside coming off I-22. It was getting dark, so she explained she turned on her headlights. Then minutes later, the blue police lights. The whole time he was talking to me, he had this rage in his face and his eyes. And he had his hand on his holster the whole time. That right there scared the fire out of me. So I said, for what? What did I do? Can you tell me? Can you explain to me why are you pulling me over? He said, you're casting your lights. And I was simply turning my lights on. The 2006 code makes it a misdemeanor to flash your headlights on any real property. Harris says she was frightened. The officer's vehicle was blacked out. No name tag or badge. And right there with him, a tow truck. As I was reaching for my insurance papers, he put his hand back on the host and said, don't you do it. Don't you do it. That day, I thought I was going to die. Her car was searched and a bottle of pills was found. And it was a antibiotic for my face because I had cancer on my face that I had to have surgery on and, um, and some vitamins. And they told me I was a drug dealer, that I was getting arrested for being a drug dealer. So they put you in the back of the patrol car? Put me in the back of the patrol car, took me to the police department. I asked, could I make a phone call? They told me no. And at the jail, she said it was humiliation. I had to actually in and cough and let her check my uterus for drugs. Right there in the police station? Yes. What's yeah. going through your mind this whole time? I'm going to die. Panic set in. I kept beating on the door because I needed my asthma pump as well, and he would not give me my asthma pump. I said, please, can you just give me my asthma pump? I literally, Cynthia, felt like I was going to die. Her husband and father came to town hall, but were told to leave. It took five hours for a bondsman to get her out. Harris says Brookside PD needs to be disbanded. I'm angry. I'm still upset. I'm angry. I'm upset because it's been going on for so long and nothing's been done about it. Now, Harris says the initial charges she was pulled over for were well, those were dropped. She is appealing these other in Jefferson County Court. Out of pocket, she has already spent $1,200. Reporting live, Cynthia Gould, ABC 3340 News.